All right, so while our uh, motor mount is drying in the tube, we are going to sand our fins. Um, to sand the sides, I'm using a uh, sanding block and 220 grit uh, sandpaper. Um, to, these are pretty smooth already, but um, we're going to just sort of sand the circular motion to get rid of any little nubs and bumps. Depending on your piece of wood, it'll depend on how long you actually have to sand. So, there's that side. Um, for the edges on this kit, they are laser cut plywood. Um, you can airfoil them if you want or around the edges. Um, I'm just going to leave mine square. But I do want to take off the laser, the brown laser cut edge. And for that, I'm going to use a 150 grit sandpaper and just follow the motion of the edge until that gets nice and smooth. So there you have that. Um, just repeat with all the sides and edges and all of your fins, and then those are set to be glued in once everything else is dry. Um, I've got these all sanded nice and smooth, and so what we're going to do is we're just going to put a bead of glue along this edge and this edge. This side goes actually into the, uh, the pre-slotted fin, or pre-slotted tube. So we're just going to use some plain white glue. Try to keep it from overflowing too much. Stick that in, make sure it's hitting the motor mount tube on the inside. That's what the tab is glued to. Make sure that's squared. And continue with the other ones. Once you have all the, uh, the fins in, we have to let the glue dry and then we will put on fillets using our uh, two-part fix-it epoxy clay.